This is the perfect recipe to make, especially if you're meal prepping or just trying to eat healthier and cleaner, have a diet, whatever. I see comments about it all the time. It like literally pisses people off and it's so funny. Bruh, so easy and delicious. Like who would have thought? We have a special guest. Sherry, say hi. I know it looks crazy, so don't do it when you're with people, but if you're alone, like why not, you know? Hello, I am finally back with a cooking video, y'all. But this is nothing crazy. I literally just threw this chicken together last night and it came out so bomb that I was like, I have to share it with you guys. I posted a little TikTok, but it was just like a little sneak peek because I honestly didn't know how it was going to turn out. And I was like, um, yum. Shout out to Eldon. He is on daddy duties right now watching Chevy. So he will join us a little bit later because he's going to eat dinner with me. But let's just get straight into it. It is literally the easiest chicken. Like when I tell you, you can practically do this with your eyes closed. I just winged it with a bunch of spices that I thought would taste good and it came out so good. So you can kind of just flavor it to your taste. I think the biggest thing to take away is the temperature to cook your chicken at and how long to cook it at. So or, yeah um, but I want to share with you guys my biggest air fryer hack and that is the liners like if y'all do not have air fryer liners let me put you on mail we got these ones from Amazon so I'll link them down below but you literally just take one of them guys plop it right in and you don't even need to prep your chicken in a separate bowl like you can literally just do it all here and have no extra dishes like is that not easy or what so obviously this particular chicken requires a chicken thigh but you can do whatever you want but if you like the crispy skin then you need the skin on your thigh and then also get your thighs with the bone in because it just makes it more juicier and tender I'm going to make probably three tonight. That way I can make the last two for TikTok tomorrow. Girl, I'm gonna be chickened out, but this is the perfect recipe to make, especially if you're meal prepping or just trying to eat healthier and cleaner, have a diet, whatever. It's definitely a healthier alternative because you're not frying it in oil and you're still getting that crisp skin, which tastes delicioso. Oh, I lied. I still have three thighs left. So I am literally going to be chickened out, girl. I think I'm going to switch the camera so you guys can see a little POV moment. So like I said, I literally just threw it all together. I put lemon pepper. I like to season both sides and also you want to be very generous because that's what's going to give you like a nice little crust. Going in with minced onion. Actually, let me just finish this side and then I'll flip them over. Italian seasoning. Also, all of my spice jars are from Amazon. I'll link those also down below for you guys. They are so cute, especially if you're trying to be like aesthetic. It's just kind of annoying when you gotta like refill them, but you know the vibes. A little bit of paprika or maybe a lot whatever again you got a flavor to your personal liking garlic powder again just a little generous all over himalayan salt also i think these are also from amazon and these little cute wooden spoons they came in a little set they're so freaking cute they're like little scoops but i'll try to find the link and i'll put it down below for you guys and then i'm literally just going to kind of like do this so it all sticks you can even like pull the skin up and stuff some seasoning in there but Girl, that's just too dramatic. Like, this is good enough. So now I'm just doing the same thing on the skin side. And it is literally that easy, y'all. Like, you can't even say you don't have time to cook. Last but not least, I just go in with a little bit of extra virgin olive oil just to crisp up that skin nicely. You can also use like an olive oil spray if you have that. I would probably use that, but I ran out. But this is just going to make it nice and juicy and crispy. See how easy that was with the liner? Like, you don't even have to use a different bowl, nothing. You just kind of pop it right in. I'm gonna set it for 350, 15 minutes on one side, and then we're gonna come back, flip them over, same thing. I know there's probably so many different recipes with like different temps, different times, and all of that good stuff, but this is how I did it last night, and it came out 
perfection. The only last step that is obviously optional, I picked some green onions from the garden and washed them. And the easiest way to cut them is literally just using some kitchen scissors, just like that. You can skip this step if you don't like green onions, but I like to pop this in after I flip them because you don't want them to burn, but it just gives them a nice little garnish and then a little extra flavor. I am obsessed with green onions, so I'm using kind of a lot. Also, I'm sorry that I go in and out of accents every two seconds. I see comments about it all the time. It like literally pisses people off and it's so funny, but I can't help it. It's literally who I am and it just comes and goes as it pleases. I've lived in another country for a quarter of my life. So like I've been around so many accents growing up that like it's just engraved in my vocab. Like, hello sorry about it anyway we're gonna push these to the side for now and then we're gonna come back in 15 minutes also i forgot if i mentioned or not but this whole chicken ensemble ensemble recipe just idea came from my friend kim tai shout out to her she literally did a mukbang like a few days ago making a easy air fried chicken thigh and i was like damn that looks foia so i basically took her recipe but like made it my own and just threw together whatever i had as you can see and um yeah it came out so good i forgot about my broccoli i'm just gonna prep it that way we can turn it on once we flip the chicon um i'm just gonna kind of steam it i have some water in here these are already washed and ready so easy other guys from sprouts so I'm gonna make a bunch because I think Odin is gonna have some too. I wanted broccolini, but they were out at the store, so broccoli works. I love both just as much. Per. Okay. That's it. I'm gonna have this meal every single night until I'm sick of it. Well, I have to because the chicon is going to get bad and I don't wanna freeze it because just gonna keep cooking you know well i guess i can make another type of chicken but this is so good that i feel like i can eat this for a week maybe until you guys think of it i don't know we'll see. and then shout out to eldon he made rice last night so it's kind of like a half leftover night but yeah this is again so easy like you can prep your rice prep your veggies you can make your chicken fresh every night and just like have half your meal prepped if you're like on a diet or you just like prepping your meals and then just do your chicken like it's so so easy and then if you have like a whole family you can make a whole tray of them and then just use the oven instead or just for like four to five thighs in the air fryer damn that looks fire okay so once they are done 15 minutes on that side then i just flipped it over and they're nice and juicy on the bottom just like that I'm gonna cook this for maybe like six minutes and then we're gonna throw the green onion in and cook it for the rest. Ooh, she was sizzling. This is six minutes flipped over on the other side, skin side down. And now for the fun part, we just sprinkle the green onions right on top. And just like that and pop her back in for the last like five minutes. And then while that cooks, we're just going to start our broccoli. Ouch, that's hot. But this is what Eldon made last night. It's a vegan chicken adobo. And he made it with the brand Darren. It's really, really good. It actually kind of tastes like chicken. And it's soy-based. So if you're a vegetarian or a vegan, this is such a good chicken alternative. I'm going to top them off with some freshly steamed brock. He likes the medium and smaller pieces. I like the bigger ones, so I'm just going to pile her right on and here is my chicken all done this looks so bomb i need to crisp it up one more time i lied brb she's extra juicy right now i'm gonna hit this on 400 for like two minutes just to re-crisp up the skin get some brock up in there i love broccoli so much I could literally eat this whole pot right now. Oh my gosh, look at this. 
yummy. My shikon is done. Oh my God, they're so juicy. And then of course we have all the oil from the chicken, the natural oils, and a little bit of that EVOO. Oh my gosh, yum. Okay, maybe throw the green onions a little bit later because they're kind of crispin, mama. But I like it like that, like extra crunchy. Yum. If you could just smell it, like please go make this chicken, come back and let me know what you guys think. Oh my God. So like the drippings kind of turn into a sauce. I know she's a little oily, but dude, it's so bomb. Like just kind of drizzled over the rice and the broccoli. Bon appetit. Bruh, look how delish. You can even plate it with a little bit more fresh green onions. But look at that. So easy and delicious. Like who would have thought? Hi. <laughs> Hi. Dinner is served. And we got a little Coke and Prime Moment. And I just washed my lid. I don't know what to say. Top? Sorry, I'm watching. The fight is on right now. Mm. I also have my water. Can't go without that. We also have Mr. Chevy and the bouncer right next to us. So if you hear a little noise, he's literally right next to the camera. But okay, this is my chicken thigh hack. Instead of using a knife, you use two forks. Cause you know how you shred chicken with two um, forks? I know it looks crazy. So don't do it when you're with people, but if you're alone, like why not, you know? Oh my God, first bite. This is dedicated to you guys. Mm -hmm. Dude, I wish you could have this chicken so bad. I wish you could have this chicken so bad. I did have that chicken and that one's bomb too. Mm -hmm. mm. There's this one place back home. It's a gas station store. All my Big Island people for sure know, but Tesoro has it used the to be Tesoro. best. Well, I don't know what it is now. I think it's a Chevron. I still call it Tesoro, but they have the best hot bar and they had a baked chicken that was my ride or die. Like literally my favorite baked chicken in life. Mm. And this honestly tastes really close to it. I always wanted to know how they made it. And it's so simple, but so good. And I think I mastered it. Mm-hmm. I like mine extra like crispy and like well done. So mine looks darker, but it's also all of like the spices, but dude, this chicken is a 20 out of 10. It is incredible. Like, so freaking good. And easy. Mm-hmm. When I was watching Kim's mukbang, she was like, you can literally just like season it, throw it in the air fryer, go throw a load of laundry in, shower, go take care of your kids, whatever, come back and the chicken's done. I'm like- That long? That's, well, <laughs> not that long. I'm just saying you can do any of that. <clears throat> And when you put it that way, for those people that say cooking is like so hard, like there's meals like this that are literally effortless mm -hmm. and you can do it in no time. And not expensive either. Mm -hmm. And then Eldon, of course, got me like the best of the best chicken, like no antibiotics, like hormones. what's it called? No hormones. He got all the ingredients from um, Sprouts. So shout out to Sprouts. You could even do like a big pan in the oven. Mm -hmm. If you need to make 20 or however many. That's what I was saying earlier. Is that if you have like a big family. Mm. And originally I wanted broccolini instead, but they were it's out. So I know I also told them that. Oh. But broccoli is just as good to me. Like Mmm, so good. I know a lot of people can't eat broccoli unless it's like seasoned or like melted cheese on top, but I straight up like raw, not raw, plain broccoli. I think it's so good. Do you even put any seasoning on this one? Nope, just plain. Oh yeah, no salt or pepper? Mm -mm. Wow. I usually put a little bit, it's like salt and pepper in the water and then boil it. Yeah, I also, well, I made it plain because I gave some, to the dogs for dinner. 
but our piggies love broccoli too <laughs> and it's so healthy dude i'm telling you best chicken ever like I was mentioning earlier, you can put as little or as much seasoning as you want. You guys kind of seen how much I put. But I feel like the more you put, the better the crust tastes. And it's just so, like, scrumptious. What did you put since, since I was in here? Mmm. Mmm. The extra crispy green onions. I said, what did you put? I know. I just got distracted. Yum. I take that back when I say if you want like fresh green onions, I don't think that's a vibe. You have to have them like crispy like that. And then they absorb all the chicken juice and that oil. Mmm, bomb. Okay, there's pink Himalayan salt, black pepper, lemon pepper, Italian seasoning, garlic powder, mm -hmm. onion flakes, mm -hmm. paprika. I rounded up paprika, so I put a little bit of smoked paprika. There's a whole nother bottle in there. Oh, is there? The, I gotta refill it. On the rack, yeah. Um, am I missing something? And then just a quick olive oil drizzle for the extra crisp. You honestly could probably do it without olive oil, because I feel like the natural oils in chicken will already like crisp well, it up. in the skin, yeah. But I just did it, because why not? I'm not on a diet yet, and this is like, a good healthy meal to me, so why not? Mmm. You can do it just with lemon pepper too. Mm-hmm. If you just wanted lemon pepper chicken. Yeah. I'm really weird about meat. Like I eat meat, but I'm really weird about how it's prepared. I like most of the time when it's like extra crispy or like kind of well done. What's the matter, Bubba? But like once I get around most of the chicken, I know this sounds like so extra, but I pop this back into the air fryer for a couple minutes on like 400 and then I just like re-crisp up the inside and then I flip it over because I'm just, I don't like chicken that's like slimy. <laughs> not, I mean, it's not slimy, but I don't know how to, I guess I like dry chicken. Like I it's like it dry. tender. You just like it like. Crispy. Mm -hmm. There's certain things like I guess steak I'll have like with a little bit of pink, but chicken absolutely not, bro. I I rather have that shit dry. But that's the thing with this chicken is that you have to have it like fresh. So that's why I mentioned earlier if you're meal prepping, just prep like your rice and your greens, and then you can even pre-season your chicken and everything, and then just pop it in the air fryer when you're about to eat, cause. The skin crispy makes the world of a difference. We have a special guest. Sherry, say hi. Well, that's pretty much it. I'm going to finish my chicken. And I have three thighs left. So I did say that I could eat this forever, but. <laughs> Maybe I'll switch it up and make something else with the last three. I wanted to make a TikTok, but I don't know. We'll see. Oh, if they want to know how to make your adobo, should you make that for them in another video? Um. Well, I can make it from scratch, but this past time I made it with like a pre-packaged marinade. Oh, they have that? Which was really good. Yeah, I've seen, seen it in Target. But I got inspired. Well, I had the sauce before, but Chef K inspired me when we went to her house and ate it. Mm -hmm. I was like, okay, I can eat it again. So I made it again. We just had it a week ago. Chef K just made it for us. Bretman came and we all had dinner together. And it was so bomb. She kind of did like a Filipino mix dinner for us. Mm -hmm. And it was delicious. I think originally I was going to just use like tofu or something. Oh, so that was her idea. Yeah, so when she used the daring, I was like, oh my gosh, that worked It was out. good. Yeah, and Bretman and Bella loved it too. Yeah. They said it tasted like real chicken. Mm -hmm. mm. But... Hi, boo -boo. Show them your little Valentine's onesie. Has little trucks full of hearts. <laughs> So cute. <laughs> You're a silly boy. You're a silly boy. All right, well, thank you so much for hanging out with us. 
um, eating dinner with us. Hopefully you guys have something very delicious that you're eating with us. Or you might but, have cooked the chicken mm, wrong. True. This is your sign to go make baked chicken. So easy, so bomb. Please go make it and let me know what you guys think. And also, what you guys want to see next? I keep fucking Eldon to make his homemade bread, but he ran out of yeast. yeast. So he got to go get that before we film it. But hopefully that'll be the next one. I said that on the last video, but maybe the next video. <laughs> but anyway, we love you guys. And we'll see you in the next one. Bye.